Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is Saturday and it is a busy one. I will explain as the day goes on. But a busy day requires a good breakfast. You probably didn't care, but this is typically what I eat for breakfast. I usually have toast and eggs or toast and avocado and then a grapefruit or I'll have like cherries and cottage cheese or something like that. This is my typical breakfast. Maybe I'll show you what I eat in a whole day. Maybe I'll show you because I love nutrition and health and and food. I used to be like a huge foodie, but I've told you guys that a long time, but I told you guys that before. Anyways, Gabby's getting, Gabby's asleep because it's Saturday and all she's worried about is as long as she gets to have her, her sleep in. Um, Sophie's up doing her makeup, getting changed, cleaning up her room, and we're about to start today. So come along and see what is involved in our farm life day. Sit, show them how pretty you look. <laughs> So today Ellie had a bath. I wanted to show you her uh, because it was the very first bath that she's had. It's the very first bath that she's had since I got her that actually went really smoothly. When I got her, I got her in the early spring and she was in the mud constantly. So I was having to bathe her all the time. It's so much better now. I don't have to bathe her all the time. So it's been weeks since she had a bath. Are we putting Chino in first? So she got really stressed out about the bathing, bathing. She didn't like it. I made a bunch of changes. Every time I bath her, I make like more changes. And now, and so the last bath was really good, almost perfect. And then today the bath was so good, you guys. The only thing that she like still struggles with is her face. Because I always like try and wash her face. I pour water on it to clear like all the soap and stuff. Today I tried not doing that. Instead, I just wet my hand with soapy water and washed her face and washed all her head and then um, rinsed it the same way and obviously it's not perfect it's not the best way to keep her clean and stuff but all I care is that she's clean and happy at this point she doesn't like water on her face and I'm just gonna like take time what I did discover today was that she loves the the water I bath her in the sink now which is another change that I made that makes her feel better but one thing that I did discover was that she loves the water pouring out of the the faucet onto her body she loves that but anyway so she's clean and fresh hopefully it'll last for a few more months my girl actually is coming to the gate i better get out there oh, honey is loving the puppies she loves them she literally is like babies she's spicy Molly. today <laughs> mom she loves she ran from me. She loves her grass. Let me tell. Oh, look at her. She's playing in the water. Cause she just ran. Yeah, need so every like three times a day at least we brush this girl. She's still sporting a ton of hair. Let's try this again. Back up. I swear, this is one of her favorite things to do now. And now that I have her like retrained to go on the trailer, back up. I actually can walk in forward without looking back at all. And she does great. So the one thing I wanted to ask you guys about our baby, she's, she's, she needs muscle. She's just a yearling and yeah. She's just a yearling and Sophie does hill work with her every single day unless it's raining. So and unless there's like a smoke advisory, <laughs> air quality advisory. She works with her every single day going up hills. Sometimes we take her for walks, not often, but she will walk her around the property. We are gonna start taking her for walks, uh, but walking and hill work, she does a lot of it and she still like needs more muscle. I don't wanna lend her until she's three around three I want to like keep her joints healthy and I don't want to do like any kind of stuff that's gonna cause any potential problems so my question to you guys is what are your favorite ways of building muscle in a yearling here thank you thank you for being such a good girl 
Sophie's gonna, Sophie started uh, long lining her. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I think that's what it's called. But she started that yesterday because I wanted her to do some kind of like work like that, but I don't want to do circles, if that makes sense. So anyway, she started long lining her yesterday, just slow walking around the arena. She did so good. But what do you guys recommend? I don't want to go to sleep. Cause this is something that I want to keep. We will never meet. I just cut all this grass. I wanted to do it yesterday. This is my favorite little area of our barn. It's this whole little, I call it our courtyard, even though it's not really a courtyard. I love it. Hello, baby. <laughs> Why do you always go where everybody, all the fun is now? And she's a chicken. She's a horse chicken. And she's a horse fanatic. <laughs> you see, she destroys the bike, Gracie. Oh, dear. What's happening here? <laughs> Penny's like, don't go near my girl. Hi. <laughs> you coming to say hi? Yeah, you won't like her. She's bossy. So this is one of the ways that Sophie's been exercising the mini. And she lunges Willow every day, except for not when we have um, air advisory. <laughs> the thing with Ellie is that she gets super jealous. She's territorial, she's a terrier. Uh, she's not super bad because we've never let her be really bad, but she will jump up and tell her to go away. <laughs> She's bad. I just missed it. She just did it. And the horses are really good about it. And even the dogs are good about it. But we don't let her do it. We don't let you do it. It's not allowed, Missy. See? Hey, see? No. That's not okay. If you're gonna do that, you have to get down. You can't be with me. We're a sharing family. She'll do it to Gracie too. She doesn't want anybody coming near, to, coming near me. Don't you do it. Mom, before, honey, never let me stand oh, her hair is so cute. Gabby, was it you that cut her hair? Gracie's? I love it. All right, so Ellie's down now <laughs> because she <laughs> doesn't want the horses to be near me. Sylvie wants to do a lot of groundwork with honey, but she I told her no lunging, no jumping. Penny, you make a much better door than a window. I can't even see through you. Willow also won't leave Sophie alone. She's like, do me, do me. Wow, Sophia's are going backwards so good. Whoa, look at that. Ellie, you just had a bath. Get out of the puddle, get out of the puddle. See, that is why Ellie gets bath. Oh my gosh, my clean, fresh dog just literally jumped in the pool, completely on her own accord. Oh my gosh, this is why Yorkies are not the, the cleanest dogs. Pool for her. Yeah, so we're gonna get this. So I'm gonna end up getting her a pool for the summer. Well, we already have a pool for her. Oh my god, she doesn't even get out. What are you doing? I may or may not have a soaking wet dog on my lap and my leg covered in footprints. My dog is a farm dog, a water dog, a, dog dog. a lap dog, all the things I ever wanted in a dog and never found in one breed, not all of it in one breed before. I'm shook, like, and she is perfect for me. You know what's perfect for me? What's perfect for you? Finny. Finn, I know. Maybe you'll name your next horse Finn. Okay, so here's the thing about the duck and the goose. We have a duck and a goose that we said that we would hatch and then if it survived and it hatched, if it hatched, we would bring it back or we would like play with it for a little while and love spending time with it and then bring it back. And then we fell in love with these things. Like, 
oh the goose especially is like oh um they're ready to have like a bigger area so we can split our our brooder into two sections and have chickens baby chickens on one side and then baby like our duck and our goose on the other side we did it the other day and we put them in there and they looked so sad and we hated them being far away from us so we took them back out of there it still remains that they need a bigger space and they need to be able to be outside and they need to be safe so we decided we're gonna make this x pen thing i'll show you guys a bit better in a second zip ties are too strong Dad. I'm literally covered in dirt now. I need so we're gonna make this little X pen thing for them. Anyways, we're gonna put them out here. I'm gonna find something to put over top of it though, because I don't want a go like a hawk. And we do have hawks coming and just picking them up. Gosh, honestly, like my dog. I swear to God. Not even my duck likes water as much. <laughs> even the ducks don't like water as much as her. So when Sophie's out here with them, she, they just run free, which is what we want them to do. But when I also want them to have a place, like a bigger place that they can be outside all the time, I think we need to like move it down the hill a little bit. It's Because no, that'll be in the pool. Eventually we could put the pool in there, but not yet because they're too young. You could probably ride tomorrow. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I'm waiting. Put them in there with her. <laughs> I swear to God, before I got Ellie, I used to like follow all these Instagram accounts of Yorkies that were like all pretty with pretty hair. Come on! Now I need to do, uh, Ruby, come! Now I need to do uh, expectations versus realities with my Yorkie because <laughs> she is nothing like I thought she was going to be. Come on! I had a breakfast at 8.30 in the morning and it is 2.30 in the afternoon. My eggs and toast always gives me so much energy and I'm able to like not even be hungry for hours. So it's 2.30, I'm having lunch. And this is my lunch. So this is cherries and cottage cheese. I know it looks like dessert, mm, I love it. So the reason that I like it is because I have a really sensitive body and so if I don't eat for my blood sugar, then I have issues. So I always try and pair any kind of carb that I eat, like cherries and fruit with a protein like cheese. So that's lunch. All right, we are at Sephora. You know your kids are getting big when you're at Sephora. Wow. So this is Gabby and Sophie's very first time ever at Sephora. No. Oh, you've been? We've all been here before. Well, it's nineteen dollars, Sophie. So this is Sophie's first time at Sephora, and she's our makeup wear. That's the fifty-dollar what? Lip oil. Lip oil, fifty dollars. Dior. It's cute though. But I mean, it looks tiny. Like really tiny. So look, Sophie's looking okay. at, okay. it's an actual perfume. It just yeah. looks like water, perf like not real perfume. It smells like alcohol. Let's see. I don't like that one. I have number 40, it smells good. So Elizabeth is the one that's the pro expert. 57 for this little thing. 57. And this is 31. 31. This stuff is really good though. It's all over the pickle. It's all over TikTok, Summer Fridays. Is it? Oh, it's lip balm. This is the stuff Gabby uses. So Gabby is big on skincare. Actually, both the girls are big on skincare. This is what she uses. Glycolic acid toning solution. She uses that. I don't know how much that is. Anyway, she uses all this stuff. She orders it online and it just comes to our house. But this is the stuff she uses, ordinary. It's just called ordinary products. So the only makeup I wear? It's probably like $30. It's probably $30. I look, it's $20. It's a travel size. What? Okay. So the I only, thought you were someone else. So the only thing I wear is mascara. So I'm getting this. It's a trial size. 
for twenty dollars. We can get a bigger one for thirty-six. But I'm not a gambling girl, so I want to try it first. Let's see what you're getting, Sophie. This is mini. What is it? It's blush. It's blush, and she's getting the mini size. How how much is that one? Wait, what is this again? How much uh, is it? Concealer. It's thirty dollars. Makeup on. Those are like 20 bucks and you always run out of concealer. You should get that. Um, I want to get this but they don't have the... So we are waiting for the girls. We're in the food court. It's probably going to close soon. So I ended up buying um, mascara. I can't get the thing open though. Like they... So this is it. But then you go up to the counter and they say, hey, if you spend eight more dollars and buy a face mask, then you can have shampoo and conditioner for free. So, of course I did it. And I'm gonna give this to Gabby because she didn't buy anything. And I'll give Sophie the, the face mask. I could have literally bought three baby geese for how much I spent on this. Three baby geese I could have bought. So much better. Because baby geese grow up and give you eggs. And then you have food to eat. And you can also eat the geese. And you can eat the geese. It is late, it's 6.30, we're headed home. And we decided to get dinner on the way. So I just wanted to show you guys the last thing that I'm eating today is a mama burger from A&W. Oh, I got a team burger. So the last thing I'm eating from for today is a team burger from A&W. Don't you know that you're beautiful?